What is going on, everybody? It is Ahmed, and I am back today with yet another video for you on today, guys. We're going to dive in and actually give some updates on Jasmine Coin and why I'm still as bullish as I've ever been. Now, remember, as always, never financial advice, just putting you guys on the plays that I'm in. If you're new around here, consider smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. Bitcoin 66.5, Ethereum right around 3100 at $3,080, Solana. Holding strong up 18% on the week at $170 per coin. The top 10, even top 50 cryptocurrencies overall in terms of week view are in the green. And things are looking spectacular as we continue to march closer and closer to what is going to be the biggest bull run we've ever seen. But what I want to talk about today specifically is Jasmine Coin. It's having a phenomenal year, going from 0.003 cents, now sitting nearly at 2 cents almost a 10x from its bottom that we've seen kind of consolidate. And remember, a lot of people right now that are in Jasmine Coin are looking at it as where it was in 2021 before some significant dilution happened. $4.30 at maximum price. And we saw it right around $2, even mid to late 2021, followed by just pretty much getting absolutely obliterated into the pennies and fraction of a pennies. So the question right now is, are we still bullish on Jasmine? What are expectations moving forward? Do I believe that with it being the Bitcoin, Japan's Bitcoin, as they call it, does it have a very strong future? And again, everything I talk about today and on this channel always are 100% based off my opinions. So take it with a grain of salt. Market cap right now for Jasmine is right around a billion dollars volume at $45 million, exchanging the hands of traders over the last 24 hours. Now, over the year, up 300%, looking pretty good for Jasmine overall, still holding strong, mainly consolidating over the last month as the market did have a slight correction. Now, the roadmap. One thing that excites me about Jasmine, of course, is they have this roadmap that, that is laid out. And in the beginning of April, they actually gave some updates and they shared what they want to accomplish and achieve in 2024. So you guys can see here, they want to partner with big IOT or technology-based device companies in quarter one, which was already achieved, develop new function with the company, and then demonstration of IOT technology data utilization for Q3 to Q4. They want to do some AI customization which is huge because if you're not doing something with AI in 2024, then you're going to be a laggard. People who are 100% behind um, thereafter because we know Q4 2022 is when AI began to boom. And a lot of different companies have invested some significant financials, especially Fortune 500 or publicly traded companies are now expanding into the AI realm, including Microsoft, Apple, and of course, Tesla. Additional AI sp uh, specifications for personal data locker for Q1 and 2, which right now we are in Q2 still. Expand the blockchain PC function uh, functionality for AI Q2 to Q3. And a lot of people might say, well, this is kind of interesting. They talk about the data valuation, special focus on increasing the type and the type of volume. Because remember, we're in the big data age. And right now, a lot of people are just paying attention to what is it that's going to what's going to happen with all the information that is currently collected by all these different companies with this data, because it's valuable. That's why data centers right now are these multi-billion dollar infrastructures that are protected by all costs. Going down to the tokenomics, you can see incorporation of Jasmine into the platform, and that's when things are gonna get spicy. Implementation of point system in quarter one, and you can see that they're gonna be doing exchange collaboration ecosystem formation, token value and exchange within the wallet, feature activation with tokens in the wallet as well. And there's going to be a significant lockup and hundred million Jasmine coins locked up Q1 by April, actually, which has already been done in 2024. So folks, things are getting quite interesting in the crypto market. I would recommend everybody that is a Jasmine holder to continue and read the rest about this carbon credit exchange, start of exchange businesses compliant with Japanese regulations. And of course, we know that Japanese VCs or venture capital firms will be entering into the crypto space for the first time ever after being given regulatory oversight and approval by the Japanese government. So with that being said, remember, Jasmine is not just another technology-based company 
or another cryptocurrency. It's one that has already the approval of many, including Binance, Coinbase, Bybit, Kraken, KuCoin, Gate, HTX, or Huobi, uh, Bitfinex, MEXC Global, you name it. Every single big exchange in the world has already listed it. So barrier of entry for Jasmine is low. If you're interested in getting into it, like myself, I got some on Coinbase. You can get some on Binance if you're somewhere in the Eastern Hemisphere. So again, the barrier of entry is low. All there needs to be now is the tech needs to be coupled with the and the easy access to the coin, which would equal, I think, some significant upside. And moving forward, we're going to see hopefully a really nice run up for Jasmine. I'm excited for the future that it holds. I do appreciate your support as always. So thank you all so much for tuning in. That's all I had. And until next time, as always, as always, keep investing. Peace.